Hi, Lam users. I'm going to talk about the leads page that you can find in the app. This is basically the first step that you're taking when you're creating a new campaign. So this is not only for importing your list of prospects, but also to have an overview of what's happening with your sequence, what's going on with a specific prospect. If you're wondering, for example, um, when did Mary receive my first email or when uh, will Mary receive this next step of my sequence? This is the page where you can find all this information. So first, let me show you how you can use this drop down menu just here. You have all kinds of criteria. This is first uh, not an end criteria, but an or. That means if you click on um, clicked and replied, you're going to have people who clicked on the link in your email, but also people who didn't click but replied to your email. So if you want to have um, more like details about people who just clicked, you just untick this one and here you are. So you can play with all these uh, criteria here, but this is really useful when you want to unskip someone uh, from your company. So basically, when you're on uh, at the review stage and you're making sure that everything is okay with your sequence and uh, that all the like the links and the images are working fine. If, for example, you want to skip someone from uh, this campaign because you don't want him to receive this sequence, you can uh, click on it and click here to skip and confirm it. But then you're having a second thought. You're like, okay, maybe it's worth having him like receive my campaign. So I want to unskip him. You just come here and then click on skip and it will just, it will show you select him and you press this button to unskip him. So it will directly go back to the review stage where you can review him. So he, uh, the campaign will be launched uh, for that lead. So you can uh, do like whatever you want uh, here to have the uh, information that you need, but something awesome as well. You can, for each of your prospects, have like really uh, detailed information about where they're in, um, where they're at in the sequence. So here I uh, select Daria and I can see these uh, icons here. The green ones are the completed ones and the gray ones are uh, the next steps. So this is the predicted step for this sequence for this prospect. So here, if I put my mouse over, I can see that this is completed because this is green. And also I have the exact dates where the email was sent. So December 7th, 1138. And here I can see when this um, person will receive the next step of my sequence. Again, this is saying that it's an email and it's gonna be sent on December uh, the, the 8th at 11.30 again. So you have plenty of information here, the activities, so you can find like the history. You can also uh, here like unsubscribe, add a note uh, for yourself, mark as interested or not, or send an email directly from here. And also, this is awesome, you can edit here. So you can edit all the information that you want. If, for example, you want to add an extra layer of personalization, you just come here on the icebreaker block and you write a, like a unique sentence for this uh, prospect. So it's a bit more personalized and um, and it sounds a bit better for the, the lead. You can also edit the company name. This is some, something that I usually do because when I have a robot like scrapping all the info um, from the internet for me, sometimes I have like company name that long, like for example, blah, 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 corporation, blah, 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 company. And uh, I don't want it to appear like that in my email if I use the variable company name. So I want it uh, to be a bit more natural. So I come here, I edit it, and then I, um, I make it shorter. So then of course you save it before you leave and you're done. So this is stuff that you can do on this page to make the most of your campaign. I hope you liked it and don't hesitate to tell me if you have further questions on this page, of course, but also on the other steps when you're creating um, your campaign. I can record a video, especially for you guys to explain a bit more how you can, um, you can uh, deal with the, this section. So I wish you a very nice day and I see you on Thursday for the tip of the week. Bye bye, guys.